crypto world is buzzing again as Bitcoin, one of the leading cryptocurrencies, continues its remarkable ascent. Over the past one year, the currency has more than doubled in value to reach the $50,000 milestone earlier this month. Its market capitalization is firmly above the $1 trillion mark, having surged over 20% in 2024 alone. The rally in the currency's price, which has been driven by the approval of spot exchange traded funds or ETFs in the US, has come ahead of the famous halving event. The total circulating supply of Bitcoin is capped at 21 million and there will be only 21 million Bitcoins that will be ever created. Halving was a defined rule in the Bitcoin protocol, which basically means that the amount of Bitcoin which are getting generated on a daily basis at every block get reduced by half every four years. With the continuous increased demand, uh, both in the retail segment and the institutional segment post the ETF approval and the anticipated supply shock, which we will see post halving, I would not be surprised if Bitcoin sees a further surge of 20 to 50 percent before the halving event. Bitcoin's halving marks a change in the rewards miners receive for creating new blocks on the network. The next halving will likely occur in mid-April 2024 and will see miners' reward drop to 3.125 Bitcoin from 6.25 Bitcoin at present. Bitcoin last underwent a halving event in May 2020. Back then, the cryptocurrency's price surged from around $6,900 on April 11, 2020 to over $8,800 at the time of the event itself. It extended its climb to reach $49,500 by May 2021. A similar pattern emerged during the previous halvings in 2012 and 2016. So, will the history repeat itself? According to analysts at Bernstein, Bitcoin could touch $150,000 by mid-2025. Those at Skybridge Capital, meanwhile, forecast Bitcoin's value at $200,000 by July 2025. Against this backdrop, how should investors position themselves? If you're a long-term investor, you can use opportunities of any kind of price tips to strengthen your position. If you're a short-term trader, I would say you be ready for a lot of volatility. Don't take leveraged positions. That said, while sector participants say investors should hold ultra-long-term positions in Bitcoin to benefit from the bull cycles, regulators call it unsuitable for payment or investment, leaving it open to speculative bets. Today, on 27th February, global queues and primary market action will guide the markets. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. He's making plans for an early retirement. Business Standard